So I've had a few questions uh, with regard to some of the dimensions on this lift. And looking back, I kind of wish I'd, uh, I guess, recorded some of this stuff in detail when I was building it. And that way it would have been really easy for me to put together like a plan for this. But I've had a couple people ask for just some measurements with regard to like leg length, the steel used and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tape measure now. We'll do a quick few measurements on all this so I can let you know what it is. And then hopefully in the description, I can pop a little PDF link there and you can download that and see a list of all the parts and uh, what their measurements are. So you could probably build one of these for yourself then if you wanted to. So let's get into measuring. So the way the legs are constructed is an inside set of legs and an outside set of legs. Uh, and all the leg lengths on these, I'm pretty confident, are the same. So if I measure this leg here, that's 54 inches long. Same as with the outside leg. So if I start up top here where that leg starts to come down here, also see it's 54 inches long. So that's four pieces of one inch by two inch, one eighth inch wall steel at 54 inches. The outside leg cross members that go on uh, the outside leg set on the bottom and the top, they're set about one inch back from the ends here. And I believe those are 21 and a half inches long. So we got two pieces at 21 and a half inches for the outside legs. The inside leg piece up here that you can't see, those legs are only 19 and three quarter inches apart. So those two pieces are 19 and 3 quarter. So that makes up your two light rectangles. Regarding the supports that are under the deck here, so the support that my wheel mount mounts to, and then the support that, you see if I lift this, it'll lift on this side, the supports that the, uh, the bearings roll against on the bottom of this. That's just all made of one inch by one inch, eighth inch wall steel. Just make it to the width of your deck and you'll be fine. All of these pivot points and uh, I guess mounts for all the bearings, that's all just simple three quarter inch bar stock. These C channels that the pivot points and the bearings ride in. They're all the same as this one by two steel, just with one side cut out of it. So those are on both pieces, 18 inches long. So you want four pieces at 18 inches long, made like a C channel. And then you've got these two plates here, and those are going to be 18 inches by 18 inches. And I've got those made out of. I think it's quarter inch, actually 3 sixteenths inch plate is what that's made of. So then ultimately the, uh, where the pivot points go through on these, then I'll use a schedule 40 pipe that has uh, at least 3 quarter inch inside diameter so your uh, bar stock will go through it. And that's all 18 inches as well. And then finally these, uh, the wheel chocks or the wheel vice or whatever you want to call it. I made three of these, I guess, L shapes if you want to call it, uh, hockey stick shapes. The bottom is 13 and the top is 13 and a half. Just cut whatever angle you want to match up for the wheels you'll be clamping. You should be good to go. And then finally this piece of plate here is once again made of the same plate that the, uh, the lifting mechanism is made of and just make that to whatever length you need as well. So I guess then the bag as well, any bag will do as long as it will do like, you know, 90 to 100 PSI and will give you the amount of lift you want and support the amount of weight you want. I'll link the one that I've uh, used for mine, uh, but you can use any other bag. I'm even considering upgrading this and doing something a bit bigger. That way I can lift heavier bikes as well. But I've been able to lift everything that I wanted to so far. If we look at where the, ah, there's a hair in my nose. If we look at where the bearing posts and pivot points are on these legs, so for the upper, Part of the legs, the legs, you know, the parts of the legs that go up with the lift. These are, I believe, 18 and a half centered down from the top of the legs. Yep, so you see 18 and a half. And the bottom ones are 21 inches up from the very bottom of the legs. With the 
pivot point being 28 and a half inches up from the bottom. So just one final thing now before we uh, sign off. I just want to give you guys a quick update. Here's the uh, C70 frame. You can see it's still not painted. Uh, I'm currently waiting on an order of primer and paint for this. It's kind of slow with things being what they are in the world currently. So I'm going to blame that for the time being and not all the Call of Duty I'm playing. Uh, so paint's on the way for this. And we also have uh, another little project that I came up with. Recently, one of our tread, well, our tre only treadmill died. So here's a, uh, you know, a low to medium grade treadmill with a one and a half horsepower motor in it. And what I'm going to be doing with this is turning this into a belt sander. So it'll be a steel fabrication project. All kinds of goodies in here we can use to build ourselves a nice belt sander. I'm thinking two inch by 42 inch belt. And that'll help me immensely when it comes time for more fabrication projects like this lift. So stick around for uh, all that good stuff as well because it's coming in the very near future. So hopefully those few measurements are helpful for you guys. I know some of the people have mentioned in the comments that they, uh, you know, they wish I kind of had plans or whatever put together for this. I kind of wish I did too. Sort of, uh, I guess, uh, in hindsight, had I done it while I was building it, probably would have made it a lot easier. Uh, but either way, I'll take the measurements we've taken here today. I'll go ahead and I'll put them in a little PDF and put that in the comments for you guys, and that way you can refer to that. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is I'm not a professional metal worker. I am not a professional fabricator. I am a software developer. So I sit in front of a computer and I write code all day long. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I do in my spare time uh, here at the garage, tinkering around with this, working on old bikes or fabricating stuff like this or my attic lift. So take anything I get to say with a grain of salt when it comes to this fabrication stuff. Like I said, I'm not a pro. But in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the comments and have been able to interact with you guys in the comments. Uh, uh, let's keep it up. I'm currently just cresting over 1,500 subscribers. And I hope that, that continues to grow so I continue making this content for you guys. So once again, thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. And we'll see you in the next one.